likes me. She is so good at stretching. Hello and welcome to Weird, Gross and Beautiful, a casual discussion about animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or all three. And today we are talking about sloths. Yes, we are. Hi, sweetheart. These claws that they have, which are anywhere from three to four inches, make walking on the ground really kind of hard, but they are excellent climbers and they really are good at climbing. So look at her, she's so cute. The scientific name for a three-fingered sloth like this one is called a bratipus, which means slow feet. It's Greek for slow feet, aren't ya? Aren't ya, baby? And so it makes sense, because it's like the world's slowest animal. So, you know, about that, oh my god. She is like on a mission. <laughs> Hi, buttercup. Yeah, because they got like, like long, super long arms like this and shaggy fur, they kind of look like monkeys, but they're not. They're actually more closely related to armadillos and anteaters, which is odd. It doesn't happen on her, but in the wild, um, their algae grows on a sloth's fur, and they have these little things called sloth moths, and, and the moths live in the fur of the sloth, and then they and then they live that way. Three-fingered sloths, like this one, the bradipus, are the really good swimmers. The two-fingered sloths are actually really poor swimmers. Um, and it's very, it's interesting. They're very graceful, and to get themselves into the water, they'll just sort of like catapult themselves out of the trees. Sloths have a four-part stomach, kind of like a cow, and it takes them uh, up to a month to digest something. Because they're really slow, and they go to the bathroom once a week, and they climb down to the bottom of their trees, and then they go to the bathroom at the bottom of the tree, and then they climb all the way back up. And it, but even though they go to the bathroom once a week, it still is like that thing that they're, that they're pooping. Is, it's been in their tummy for like a month. When a female bradipus is in heat, she will scream really high, high pitched noise. She'll go, ah, huh, baby. And then that makes, that lets the males know that she's ready for mating purposes. When a baby is born, they will cling onto their mommy's belly for like ever, for like four weeks, for like a whole month. And then even after they stop actually like riding on the tummy, then they will stay with their mom for up to four years, even though they're done being clingy. Oh, Buttercup's never done being clingy. She's like, please. Katie, please. Thank you so much for watching Weird, Gross, and Beautiful. My name is Katie Lane, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Lane to let me know what animal you would like me to cover next week. And this week's video animal was suggested by the Sloth Sanctuary of Costa Rica. Thank you so much. You guys have been a lovely host, and it's been amazing to see these creatures in person. It really, truly has. Wow, how special. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah. No, baby. <laughs>